Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to day 63 of Autodesk Fusion. Can you really tell it says day anymore? Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started on what we're going to be doing next. So, <clears throat> what we have here is we have our automata. It works uh, kind of as expected. At this point, I'm not going to add anything to the top just because that's going to be catered specifically to what your automata is looking like and what it's doing. Um, let's see. It's been a few days since I've opened this, so... Let's see if this thing still works as expected. Wonderful, looking good. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on File, New Drawing from Design, and we're gonna reference the whole assembly. Now, under this drawing, if you've been following with me, you should have a standardized one for uh, metric and one for uh, standard American system. And so, we're going to use the ASME stand, um, template because that's uh, where our automata is built in inches. Now, the first thing we're going to notice is that uh, the very first thing in our kind of automata drawing files, we want a title sheet. And this sheet doesn't look like the sheet I want. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down on the sheet settings and I'm going to change this. So this is 11 by 8.5. If we switch this over to 8.5 by 11, it throws it in portrait mode, which you may want for your title. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to double click on this, and we're going to change that orientation view to northeast isometric. I'm going to make it shaded, and that scale, I'm going to do 1 to 2. That should be good enough. I'm going to close. Let's move this around just a little bit, kind of get it in the middle there. It looks good. So now we need to do is throw in some text. So the very top, uh, kind of on the first, I would say, uh, first sheet for your drawing file, we're going to have a nice title across the front. And so that title is going to be, um, let's do uh, Project Lead the Way. And then Enter, let's do uh, Introduction Engineering Lot and Design. The enter key and then let's type in our name so if me it would be you know mr. Williams and let's go ahead and uh, you could even type in the date of your project so if you want to so be 6-5-2020 now I know the size of this isn't quite the way we want but if we highlight all of it we're able to make some of those edits I think I want to make this let's make this 0.5 inches that's way too big let's try uh, point you know three or two five that looks much 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 better let's go ahead and just increase that size a little bit hit close uh, and that that was looking okay you can um, kind of edit it however you'd like make it a little bit nicer but for the sake of this video we're gonna go ahead and just continue on um, and then there we go so now when I click on quick add if you've done your template correctly it will automatically have your logo down here for every new sheet you do. So the first sheet we're going to do is we're going to change that sheet size again to, I'm going to do a B size sheet. Uh, that way I can throw my automaton here fully with all those pieces. So let's do base view. Let's do right about here. And let's do, can I get away with one half. That's looking a little too small, or a little too big actually. So let's do between one half and one fourth. That'd be two fourths, three eighths. Let's see if I can get away with this. So now let's do our projected views. So I'm going to click on projected view and we're going to click on top left and then right and then down right click and then okay now if you notice um, I, I think we've they've updated um, fusions kind of caught on when I do the top view it actually does the top view if it's up, not up to date when you do the top view it actually be the bottom it'll be flipped and so just keep that in mind so I'm gonna right click projected view that way we can do our left and that looks okay 
And if we want to, you can move these around just a little bit. And you notice it moves everything as well. There we go. And we're gonna do last one last projected view. So I'm gonna right click projected view and do click on my parent, do top right, and there is my isometric. For that isometric, we're gonna go ahead and make it a shaded version. And then click close and then we're done. So we've got our full multi-view drawing. This is looking good. We're ready for our next sheet. So I'm gonna click on add. Now we can start doing part by part. And so this is kind of up to you on how in depth you want to be, or how much information you want to show on one sheet. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to click on base view. And this is the part where I kind of be really paying close attention on how this works is I want this sheet to be only of the box. And um, so what we're going to do then is we're going to increase that scale size. Let's do that. Click OK. And then over here on the left side, we see every every piece that has to deal with uh, our automata. What I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to deselect everything that does not have to deal with our box. And that way it's just our box there. We can kind of see everything as we need. And so you can move this around, kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, but that's that's all we want to see is this box for this one. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put this box, let's put it in the top right. Let's go ahead and change this base view, if it'll let me. There we go. Let's make a, a northeast isometric so we can see that it's the box. And then I'm going to, in for me, for this, this sheet, I'm going to now also only show one piece of the box at the time. So this shows it's got the whole box. Let's uh, include the information for just each part of the box. So when I brought that piece in again, you noticed I now have my full automata there again. What I want is I'm only going to do right click in, uh, in uh, suppress all except selected. And now that's just my top, my bottom piece right there. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. And we can change that view. Let's do like that bottom. Let's change that scale to one or two. Looking OK. And so what you can do here then is bring in those pieces, but only have to do, I think I clicked that one too many times, there you go. Only have to do the pieces that you want to do. And so the best way I've found how to do this is you bring in that whole base view and then you deselect all the pieces you don't need in that part or on that page of that drawing file. And then you can throw in your dimensions as necessary. So this is the bottom piece. So let's go do, you can throw in your dimensions as you want. You could even zoom in, do that, or you could do your typical thickness uh, and then label each piece so you can have a sheet for each one. And then that's where we go. All right, I'm gonna call it done for this video. So we've shown how to do a title, we've shown how to do our base, and then we showed how to do one part. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do then is make an additional video, maybe a follow-up video to this, and go through and just do the whole thing um, but uh, it's going to be an often, it's going to be a lot of repeating of what's going on just so I can show my students a full example of everything we need. All right, guys, that'll be it. If you have any questions, let me know.